Today we're exploring one of the neighborhoods I grew up in, that is Mackenzie Town. And you might be wondering why I'm starting in this field. Well, it's because it gets a big plus one and a big minus two. The plus one is that this will eventually be a sea train station on the green line they're building in Calgary. The big minus two is I've been waiting for this train my entire life. If this is the first one of these plus one minus two videos that you've watched, I stole the idea off of another Calgary YouTuber, uh, Shifter, who talks primarily about cycling around the city and other cities as well. But in this one, we're doing a community tour. This is something you can do on your own as well, identifying the good and the bad of your neighborhood. Here's a plus one here, judging by the barriers recently removed and the dirt still on the ground. This is brand new. So this is an upgrade they've done to the neighborhood. Obviously still some work to do though. We're going to give a plus one for these dog waste bags. I've talked about these before on the Instagram page and it's such a simple thing you can do to improve the cleanliness of the neighborhood without really costing much. We're going to give a big plus one for this playground. You'll notice there are actually a lot of playgrounds in Mackenzie Town, which is fantastic. It made it a great place to grow up. Plus one for a variety of homes. I mean, they all fit together with the community aesthetic, with the character of the neighborhood, if you will. But they're all different, different heights, different roof lines, and different colors, which is great. If you're wondering why we give a plus one to the good things and a minus two to the bad things, is because in our minds, the bad outweighs the good. That's just kind of how we work. And so in doing this, we get to highlight how these things are received and what kind of effect these things, these design features or bugs are having on us as humans. Let's give a plus one for apartment buildings. That's nice to see. Along the sidewalk behind me, there are a bunch of crab apple trees, as you can see here. They're delicious. I don't know why people hate crab apples so much. They also make great jams and jellies. I think having fruits and vegetables and things growing in the neighborhood that you can turn into food for yourself is a great thing. Something we need to do more of and something I think we need more education on. The amount of trees certainly gets a big plus one from me. I think it's wonderful to see. It's great to see that they're growing. They're getting bigger, a lot bigger than when I was a kid. I'm going to give a minus two for a couple things here. First, the crab apples that go unpicked and then fall on the ground. It happens, I know, but we could pick them and eat them. Also, minus two for this weird bumpy sidewalk. I always thought this was so strange. If there's a reason for this that somebody knows, please tell me in the comments. Because if you look, the sidewalk has all these kind of little divots, almost like a golf ball. And uh, yeah, I just remember rollerblading on it as a kid and thinking, why? Why would they do this? Minus two for this fix of something, maybe? A little confused why they did it like this instead of just fixing it. We have a few plus ones in this shot. First, plus one for the school. Having amenities local and nearby is fantastic. Plus one for the bike racks. Plus one for the signaled crossing and plus one for those temporary barriers they put up at the crosswalk. I think that's fantastic. Obviously, a having a crosswalk built for that in the first place would be great. And look, a garbage truck, plus one for that too. Oh, and a school bus, plus one. Wow, this is great. So I'm gonna give a minus two for the health of some of these trees you see on the median behind me. It's kind of a reluctant minus two though, because of the climate in Calgary, kind of makes it a little harder to take care of trees, especially while trying to do some healthy, productive water management. I would like to have an arborist on the channel sometime to ask them about taking care of trees in this sort of climate and what can be done to do better while also taking care of the planet. I'm gonna give a minus two to the narrowness of the sidewalk. I just passed somebody with a stroller and it's fine for me. I had to get off onto the grass and works fine for me. But what if you had two people with strollers or wagons or mobility aids trying to pass each other? It just makes it a little harder. Plus one for the St. Albert the Great Community Garden. I think this is fantastic. Something we need more of. Uh, this is hosted at the local Catholic church. So that's great to see. I'm going to give a couple plus ones to the Catholic church you see behind me here. Plus one, number one, is that it's a church. Not that I think religion is a plus one, but that people who practice are able to 
do so in their community. I think that's fantastic. Another plus one is the amount of Pokestops found right at the front of the Catholic Church. And another plus one for the guy who gave me free pizza while we played Pokemon Go there at 1 a.m. once. Plus one to this right here, having drink recycling as well as a garbage can. Separating our waste is a great thing. Plus one to these townhomes across the street. Density doesn't have to be skyscraper. Obviously, I don't want to film this playground directly. There are a ton of kids playing on it, which is fantastic. And this playground was recently updated from when I was a kid, where it was just rocks on the bottom, to now it has that kind of squishy rubber stuff. So people who can't walk on rocks can play. And parents who maybe are in wheelchairs or mobility aids can actually go up to the playground and participate with their kids, which is great. And another plus one here is this area right here. This is a water park. That's like a huge fountain in the summer. And then in the winter, they light it on fire. I mean, they start a fire in it and this all turns into an ice rink. So another big plus one here for Mackenzie Town. Another plus one for these picnic tables. There weren't this many when I was a kid. Uh, there were a lot, but they've added a bunch. Picnic tables, benches, all at the ice rink, get a plus one for me. And you know what, throw in a plus one for those apartments there too. So a few years back, not too long ago, I don't think, this water park area we just passed through kind of had a debate as to whether it should be remain open for people who don't live in the neighborhood and if it should become kind of one of those one of those late community things where you have to have a pass to get in you have to be a resident and i'm really glad that they didn't go with that plan because why like who cares what's the what's the big deal let people come and enjoy your local amenities enjoy the water park i think it's i think it's good that it's remained open plus one we're going to give a plus one for how close to the street these houses are actually. It kind of brings this big main road that we have going through here into, I don't know, like a little bit feeling more neighborhoody instead of the big main road that enters a community. I think it's great. Plus one. Plus one for the city giving specific permits to people who might need them. I think that's great. Plus one for a little free library. I love these things. I think we need more of them. And I think it just, you know, I don't know. It's a small way to bring the neighborhood into feeling like a neighborhood, like a community. Plus one for this pedestrian signal. This wasn't actually here when I was a kid, nor was there a painted crosswalk. So I think that's a great improvement that they've made to the area. Let's give a big plus one to over the garage suites. I think these are fantastic, hugely underrated and way underused and really smart for the homeowner as well to build. I know there are also multiple other homes on the street who have the grandmother-in-law or whatever suites built in to the house. So that was some forward thinking on the builder's part. Plus one for this frontage road. I think these are kind of underrated and underused. Not that we necessarily need to build more roads, but this growing up on this street was actually fantastic because we could play street hockey and we wouldn't have to worry about cars driving by at 60 kilometers an hour. Plus one for this pond. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really get you anywhere, but there is a path that goes around it. That was kind of fun to ride around as a kid. And just having the natural wetland here is fantastic. Lots of salamanders used to live here. Okay, we're stopping here for a number of plus ones. Plus one, number one is obviously the roundabout. It's a five spoke roundabout. So it's a lot less complicated than having like a, a five way intersection or something. That would be hectic considering the road that comes off of it right here is coming right off of the highway. So, yeah, this is great. Also, look at that signalized intersection and the intersections, the crossings, the crosswalks removed from the traffic circle. These used to be a lot further up actually, right by these yield signs. That's where you used to cross. They changed it, moved it back a little bit so that people, while they're focused on the traffic circle, don't have to be as worried about pedestrians and, uh, you know, killing people. Also plus one for this town hall. It's really just a community center. We used to play badminton there, 
you know, there were clubs and community things and activities there. Plus one for this fire hall and plus one for this church. Plus one for this multi-use pathway right here. As a kid, I was able to bike down to Fish Creek Provincial Park and use that to get to visit friends in other communities like Chaparral or Midnapur. It's a fantastic route and uh, I felt comfortable using it as a kid. So that's great. That's what we're looking for. Plus one to this giant sign. Also just to the traffic circle and everything around it. They really did a fantastic job developing this into a sense of place into, you know, not just generic community suburb number 325. I'm going to give a plus one for the permeability of this area for cyclists and pedestrians. As a cyclist, if I'm cycling home, I can just hop off if my house is right there. But as a driver, as a motorist, I would have to do, take a circular route. Let me show you on a map. Plus one for an apartment building for the elderly with a bus stop right out front. Great for aging in place and accessibility for all ages and abilities. Plus one for a small apartment building. Again, doesn't need to be skyscrapers. Plus one for these townhouses too. Minus two for this bus stop. No shelter and no platform. Plus one for sidewalks with a distinct texture. It clearly identifies when a vehicle enters and exits the crosswalk. Plus one for a beautiful park with a gazebo, benches, surrounded by townhomes and trees. Plus one for mailboxes, obviously. Plus one for there being another school. That's great. And huge plus one for the number of bikes that are parked out front of the school. And look at that. I don't know if you can see that, but that's scooter parking. Huge plus one. Plus two for modal filters. Pedestrians, walkers, wheelers can pass through here, but cars cannot. I'm going to give a minus two here, not for anything egregious, but more because I think there are some improvements that could be made. One of those improvements is improving accessibility from this side of the road to the other side of the road. Whereas, of course, because of the drain, it's difficult but I would also create a little bump out just to make pedestrians a little bit more visible behind these trees growing here. Minus two for this. There shouldn't be parking allowed in a spot like this where the vehicle parked might be blocking pedestrians trying to cross. Another place where a bit of a bump out would be great to see. Plus one for my favorite toboggan hill in the city. Those posts up there identify the area between which you should be tobogganing. Otherwise you could spill off somewhere you might not want to. Plus one for all these people out walking their dogs. Plus one for this massive park that goes around this pond here. This intersection is getting a minus two. It's far too busy to, ha to not have the tactile strips and some bump outs for making pedestrians more visible. Plus one for an elderly care home. So it's at that, this point you might be thinking, that's great. There's townhomes, apartments, elderly care facilities, all great for aging in place. But what about like shopping and stuff? Well, conveniently, plus one for High Street. My dentist, my eye doctor, donaires, lawyer and barber, dry cleaners, places to eat, banks. That bank of Montreal used to be Blockbuster. I lost a tooth in that blockbuster and now it's gone. Grocery store and my first job. I'd still say there's probably too much parking here. At least overground parking. And I do think that things could be improved by adding even just a story or two of apartments above all of these buildings. But I have one last thing to show you, which I think will eventually kind of bump things up for me a little bit. This is a park and ride. I'd really like to see this turned into a transit oriented development with of course the C train coming through here soon. This will be the Mackenzie Town Station. So we'll finish this video how we started it with a plus one and a minus two. Plus one that the train's coming down here. 
minus two that I've been waiting my whole freaking life for it. Thanks for watching today's tour of Mackenzie Town. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something and maybe thought of some things in your community that you can point out that could be improved or changed or things that are great that you wish your city would adopt in other areas. Anyways, thanks for watching.